Tudo on the screen of my calls right now, so please leave a message after my solo. John, come on, pick up. Got a sugar man. Come on, I know you're there, man. Did you get into the principal's office last night? Oh, man. This is the prank to end all pranks. You're gonna get it the mirror for sure, you know. In fact, the whole school's betting on whether you'll beat your record from last year. 31 demerits. 32. John, John Hockenberry's on his way. Come hey, on. chill out, Sugarman. It's a prank, not a troop movement. You'll be late for school, John. Hey, Dad! I think I have a fever. Look, look. Hockenberry enters his office at 8 o'clock. Gives his morning speech at 8.05, completes it around 8.10. He grabs a cup of coffee, checks himself in the mirror, maybe grabs the mail. 8.12, he exits his office. Bo bam That's when it hits. 8.12. for the sales conference. Yeah, two weeks. I'm really gonna miss you guys. You're not eating that, are you? Quick energy, Mom. Fine. We need to talk about college. You know, Dad, I have to face it. I'm not a college kind of guy. I need the freedom of the open road. I'm a rebel. Here's your laundry. You have it too easy, John. Mom cooks your meals, washes your clothes. I help with your homework. It's made you irresponsible. Let's get you in that cab, huh? Hey, 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 hey. sit down. Uh, we spend a lot of money to send you to that school. And how do you repay us? 31 demerits last year? Well, actually, it was 30... It's one. One, you were right. <laughs> what you need is discipline. This is the first day of your senior year, so we've decided. You can't use the car while we're away. Second, if you get even one demerit point this year, we're tearing a premise check. Can we talk about it? Look, the money's mine. I get it when I graduate. Plus, you know, Grandma said I can use that $10,000 for whatever I want. Then don't get a demerit. We'll see you in two weeks. The Hortons will look in on you, OK? All right, all right, but uh, how about we make today a practice day? Honey. Or we can wait at least until 8.12. Cheer up, John. I mean, how hard can it be to avoid one demerit? Bye-bye. Mr. Hockenberry, here's the mail. How are you? I cleaned your office. Good morning, students. Welcome to a new year at Patton High. For those of you new to Patton, let me introduce myself. I am your principal, Frank Hockenberry. 
Before we begin our studies, let me say, your parents sent you to Patton because they are tired of the loose freedoms of public schools. I know my vice principal, Ralph Calder, joins me in saying, every student starts the year with a clean slate. I do not prejudge. If you behave well, I will be your friend. If you behave badly, I will be something else entirely. You know, I'm reminded of my favorite teacher as a boy. She believed in discipline. She believed in obedience. When I stepped out of line, she slapped me back. When I forgot my lesson, she hit me on the knuckles with a ruler. That teacher was my mother. Oh, oh my. Are you all right? Yes. Uh, all right. Should you be in class? Um, yes, yeah. Are, are you the new teacher? Yes. Running a little late, aren't we? Well, I, I gave well, him the I'll overlook it this time, but you have a good day. What I want to say is that everybody receives an equal chance, no matter if you're a new student. Excuse no me. I, I'm a new student system, here, and no I was matter, wondering maybe if... If you've caused me trouble in the past. Thank you, and, uh, have a good year. No, no, you're a minute early. Read the mail, please read the mail. Miss Fassel. Hi. Hmm? How you doing? I'm a new student here, and I'm late to meet the principal, and, uh... What's going on? What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> well, is the principal around? No, 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 he, he's out right now. Well, who's that? That's the janitor. Mr. Hockenberry! Look, please, please keep it down. Principal Hockenberry! Peter Heath, the new student, how you doing? I'm trying to defuse this thing! <sighs> Miss Vassell, hold my calls. Five minutes into the first day, and I lose $10,000. You know, it's your fault. Mine? Yeah, yours. I couldn't just stand there. My, my first day at a new school, they think that I was a part of it. Scaduto. What a surprise. What is this red stuff, and why can't Mr. Hockenberry get it off? Go ahead. Tell the vice principal. Well, not tech. Red dye? I told him it takes weeks to get off. <laughs> he did the same thing at his old school. That is why they kicked him out, called him. Six months detention for both of you. Demerits in your permanent record. The part of X which is not non-X is, of course, X. And X is not non-X unless X is determined to be X. No questions till I finish. Now, when X is determined to be anything other than X, then it is determined to be non-X. Non I had a clean hand, transcript. I haven't done a single thing wrong since the third grade. Now this. Yeah, at least you didn't lose $10,000. I lost Stanford. I counted on that letter of recommendation. Stop whining and try to figure so, out a way to change the transcripts. John, John, the only way to change the transcripts before your parents see them is to get into the principal's computer. Or, or skidding. Or, or zigzagging. You, you just have to worry about it translating, go, just going that way. Hey, should a student we, should consider can we hack in? Got a laptop? What, what was your name again? John Scaduto. I'm not going to help you hack into the principal's computer.
gonna be on the exam, you know. Kids. It's their music, is what it is. Why not? Are you afraid? Why is it considered uncool to obey the rules? Look around you. Sheep. These rules have changed them all into sheep. History is like a, a trail of breadcrumbs that we leave behind us. It's not only his story, but it's her story. Nod your heads. <clears throat> Every living organism, when provoked, must struggle to survive. I borrowed it from the computer lab. Cool. I mean, I mean, same passers last year. Of course. <laughs> oh, my. Mr. Scaduto, I presume? Here, the parasite cells react to the intruder. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what? <gasps> oh, what's this? It looks like the very hand of God is trying to fight me. It's Hockenberry. He's on to you. Look, he's dumping your hard disk. Get out. I won't let me go. Well, Mr. Scaduto, you are deleted. There's no way past it. She's got the best hacker software there is. You even try, crashes your hard disk. Guess you're stuck, John. I'm not stuck. If Hockenberry's onto the old scams, we'll try new ones. Come on, where'd you put it? Beats me. She only answers to her own name. Well, what's her name? I don't know. Fitz. John. Hey, how you doing, John? Did you see where she put my ball there, Fitz? <laughs> she doesn't like it when other people use my name. So what are you, like, uh, some kind of uh, tour bus operator or something? No, no, it's, it's for my school. You wear a uniform to school? It's a conservative school. I got one word of advice for you, John. Escape! Go! <laughs> yeah, there's five demerits. Look, I found a ball, I found a ball. Come on, slugger. Yeah. Go long. You go bad. I got you now, Scududo. Expulsion time. Ow! I got hit. He was unconscious when we found him. Probably just low blood sugar. We see this a lot. Ah, hey! Oh. Everybody out! Everybody out now! Quick, 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 quick. You'd better call infectious disease. You two have just earned yourselves another four months' detention. Excuse me, Mr. Calder. The district office agreed to send a substitute principal of Vernon Baxter. Dr. Vernon Baxter? Yes. Do you know him? Well, yes, by reputation. I mean, he's the leading educational theorist in the country. What's he doing here? He doesn't work in the field. No one even knows what he looks like. Something about an experimental student behavior. Oh, here, well, we should have uh, Why don't you go to the... We regret to inform you that due to a scheduling error, Dr. Vernon Baxter will be attending a conference in Zurich and will be unable to substitute for your ailing principal. Wow. Too bad, they're gonna have to find another principal. You can do anything if you put your mind to it. <sighs> we 
What? What? I'm a part of this, too. What? Hey! Hey! Okay! We have to get in the computer, right? Only the principal can get in? The answer is very simple. What? We hire the principal. You're insane. No, no, no. We have to find somebody to play Dr. Baxter. Just for an hour, till we can get in the computer. What are you talking about? As soon as Calder sees that, that's... What are you doing? I'm taking it back. OK, OK, go ahead. Don't take chances. Date who your parents tell you to. Live in your head. <sighs> Roxanne, the toughest girl in school. Are you all right? Oh, my ankle it hurts. I think it's broken. Look, I'll need to brace it. John, tear this into two ships, two inches by 10 inches. This might hurt, Roxanne. I'm ready. Good girl. I feel my heart. Stop dreaming. She likes someone who takes chances. It's just not you. Hey. Hey. I'm in. There we go. All right, so what do we do first? We have to find someone who looks the part. Someone no one recognizes. Oh, Warwick. I hardly knew thee. You were a clown. You were a kidder. And yet I loved you. Why is it all so dark, oh, Warwick? Why is it all so sad? Oh, Warwick. Two hundred dollars a day. You supply my costume, makeup, transportation to and from set. Uh, I don't do personal appearances. I require a 15-minute break every two hours, a trailer of at least 200 usable square feet, no work until after 11 a.m. What are these uh, outfits you're wearing? Well, uh, us students have, have to wear these. You wear a uniform to school? To conservatives. Nevertheless, uh, my favorite dialect is Irish. If any of my work should appear on public television, I require that union. Now that's our new principal. Hi! Hi! Good to see you! <laughs> Boy, is my face red. <laughs> I am not sick. It, it's ink. It's Scaduto. But uh, I'm going to get him. It's OK, so uh, just let me out. <laughs> He's obviously delirious. You better double the skin peels. Get into the computer and get out. That's all we need. It'll take less than a day. Come on, what do you say, Fitz? <laughs> He doesn't like when you say his name. <laughs> you want me to be principal of your school? Me? Yes. The uniform school. Get out of here. No, 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 you don't understand. You are so perfect. Perfect. Look, we're in trouble, and we really need you. <sighs> hmm, I could mess with the system. Exactly. What do I get? $50 plus room and board at my parents' elegant home. Those Zildjian 2Bs? Very good. Same kind Joey Kramer uses. You like Aerosmith? I am Aerosmith. <laughs> All right, I'll be your principal. Yes! For these. What? You want me? I get the sticks. Otherwise, I'm gone. Think about it. John, give him the sticks, man. Hey, you going north? Here, buddy, hop in. Appreciate it. 
John, give him the sticks. Okay, what do I do? All right, that's our school. Cool. Oh, you see that guy walking right there? That's our vice principal, Calder. That's how a principal walks. Let's try it. No, 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 you're way too loose. Let's get into it. Act like you have a ping pong paddle between your thoughts. Get the head, your head. Yes, yes. <laughs> Better. I'll really impress him now. Good work. What we need is an adult. Bunny goes in the hole. Yank. Catch the bunny. See? There's something wrong. Hmm. The hair. I'll get scissors. No, 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 no. Haircut. Haircut was not part of the deal, fellas. Your hair's too long. No. No. Everyone else's is too short. Hey, Sorry. hey, hey, where are you going? Hey, you know, I was fine with the suit and the tie, even the walk, you know? But I cut my hair, and that's me. I, I worked hard the last 10 years and not changing me. <laughs> Great. Oliver. Good, good, a genius principle. Oh, I like it. Smart but sensitive. With a hidden flaw, maybe a uh, uh, glass eye or a uh, club foot. Brainstorm with me. Uh, I could carry something, uh, a sort of square, uh, oh, about this big. A briefcase. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Uh, what time do I start? Seven. A.M.? I hope he can pull it off. I hope he's awake. Talk to her. I will. Later. What are you two doing here? Detention, sir. Oh, right, well. Dr. Baxter may have some different ideas on that. He's here? Of course. He's so full of ideas, so intense. The school will never be the same. <clears throat> Here's your coffee, sir. Dr. Baxter? Do Dr. Baxter? <clears throat> Dr. Baxter? <clears throat> Dr. Baxter? Oh! 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 What on earth are you doing? Uh, he's, he's very startled, sir. You, by what? 
Cockroach! We don't have cockroaches, sir. <laughs> uh, if you have time, sir, these are the two on detention. Uh, any change to their punishment? Expel them. Huh? <laughs> I'm kidding. That's a little experiment. I'd like to see what kind of response I get. <clears throat> no, um, they don't look so bad. Maybe a little slow. Let me see their files. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Uh, just one second, sir. <laughs> You'll have to excuse our disorder around here. Uh, Ralph, I don't think I have to do anything now, do I? Hmm? Oh, I... Ralph, I have been here for only five minutes, and I'm already hearing you make excuses. Now, I uh, don't listen to excuses. I listen to reason. R-E-A-S-O-N. Reason. I... I, I, well, I have to apologize, Dr. Baxter. I, oh, doctor, I, I, I didn't mean to, to Ralph, suggest... Ralph, Ralph, relax. Easy. Take, I mean, everyone's so nervous around here. I take it this Mr. Berry Hawker is... Uh, Hawkenberry. Uh, I take it he's a rule man, huh? Major. Sir, why don't I apply the punishment from Essay on Coercion? Never read it. You, uh, you wrote it, sir. I, I know I wrote it. You think I read everything I write? Does a dog return to its vomit? Well, perhaps on occasion, but that's only to sniff at it. And even then, it's, it's not a pretty sight. Can I help you? Oh, yes, young man. I'm Dr. Vernon Baxter. <laughs> oh, is this my office? Uh, yeah. You're who? Dr. Vernon Baxter. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm fairly certain. Uh, Dr. Vernon Baxter, yes. You, uh, he's Dr. Vernon Baxter. Ah. <clears throat> Line? I'm so glad you made it. You, so, you, you know this man, Doctor? Yes, yes, this is my brother Vernon. Vernon Baxter. I'm so glad you're here. How have you been? How's Mom? Oh, she's good. Good. You, good. you have exactly the same name? Yes, yes. Our father named all his children Vernon. He was a huge egomaniac. Even our poor dear sister, Vernon. Oh, oh, and she hated the teasing, too. Vernon is a vermin. Vernon is a vermin. Threw herself out a window. Drove her crazy. Luckily, there was a clothesline right beneath her, and she got tangled up in the wires. Remember that, Vern? Oh, we even had a dog named Vern. You should have seen her house at Christmas. Ah, oh, naughty. All the presents to Vern. We didn't know whose was who. <laughs> yeah, but uh, uh, but I, I don't understand. Why, why were you looking for your office? I was born with a club foot. He's a therapist, and he's volunteered to help counsel the students here. Yes, <clears throat> as well as my foot. Oh, well, it's very kind of you, Doctor. Uh, this is pro bono work. Ah, pro bono. Pro bono. Absolutely. Oh, <clears throat> yes, absolutely. I've <clears throat> been a professional bono for quite some time now. <laughs> that was good. That was good. <laughs> He's bona fide. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I've never seen anything so unprofessional in my life. I was supposed to be the lead. Look. You still are the lead. The principal's the lead. What am I, student counselor? <laughs> Pacino never played student counselor. Never. Look at this office. Good morning, students. We have a very special surprise for you this morning. Oh, no. Our school is privileged to have a visiting principal, Dr. Vernon Baxter. Doctor. 
Attention shoppers, we have a sale on canned cling peaches in aisle three. <laughs> Sorry, Ralph. I always wanted to do that. <laughs> As Ralph was saying, I am your new principal, Dr. Vernon. You know what? I never really liked that name. So if you see me in the hallways, just call me Dr. V. We're dead. Come to think of it, I don't, I don't really know how you'll recognize me. Well, I'll tell you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a uh, sort of a gray jacket and um, kind of a reddish sort of a tie with upside down sailboats all over it. That is strange. Oh, I see. Oh. What are you talking about? You're only going to be here a day. And where were you all day, huh? I mean, why didn't you get into the computer? Oh, Calder had me busy out there. What happened to your socks? Oh. You know what? Let's just get in the computer and get this over with, huh? Dr. Baxter? The teachers are ready. Good. Good. For what? You, uh, for your after-school lecture. On, on your philosophies. Right! Right! <laughs> My philosophy. Who would like to start? Uh. Oh, <clears throat> okay. Well, Education, Theories of Engagement by Dr. V. Back, me. It's me. We could create a diversion. Education is not unlike a, uh, a pizza. No? You have a gun? Biology is mushrooms. Literature is peppers. And math, anchovies. And although some of us may not like anchovies, who of us here does not like pizza? Exactly. I'm not going to Stanford. I'm going to prison. And what do all pizzas have in common? What do all slices share? Yes? Anyone? What do all slices share? Yes. Cheese? Yes! Yes! Cheese! All slices are different, but all slices need what, ladies and gentlemen? Cheese. Yes, very good. Very good. What about good. cheeseless pizza? Okay, I'll, I'll see you after. Now, who is the cheese, you may ask? You are. Yes, the teachers are the cheese. Say it. I am the cheese. Come on. I am the cheese. Yes, no, everyone now. I am the cheese. Get louder. I am the cheese. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I am the cheese. Just the men. I am the cheese. Just the woman now. I am the cheese. Ralph, take over. I'll be right back. We are the cheese. We are the cheese. Dr. Baxter. Dr. Baxter, excuse me. Yes, Miss. Shine. Celia Shine. Oh, sounds like a car wax. Well, well I, I mean that in the nicest way. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's, it's, it's really great to meet you. I, I think I've written everything you've read. I've read everything you've written. I mean... Oh, really? <laughs> oh, gosh, yes. Huh. Um, you know, you're, you're so much younger than I thought. Huh. And I thought you were bald. I don't know. I guess I read it in an article somewhere that you were bald, but you're obviously <laughs> not. <laughs> Hair weave. Oh, really? Well, it looks great. It's great. Oh, thank it you. Is. Thank you. Um, Dr. Baxter, I was wondering. I'm a new teacher. History. 
I was wondering if you could point me in the direction of some of your more recent articles because your philosophy seemed to have changed a good deal with the, the cheese and the pizza. I don't, I don't know that. And yeah. um, I have modeled my teaching after you, always oh. emphasizing structure yeah. over everything else. Yeah, don't yes. forget creativity. Creativity without structure is just daydreaming. Oh, nice phrasing. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. You wrote it. <laughs> well, whoa, I knew that sounded familiar. <laughs> Um, Dr. Baxter, I was wondering yeah. if, um, well, what I'm looking for is a mentor. I'm being reviewed for my credentials really soon. I was wondering if maybe you would help me? Um, let, let me, uh, let me think about that. Yeah? Yeah. Drumsticks. From the band room. Teaching tool for the kids. Music, music class. Right. Mm -hmm. That's wrong. Are we looking at the same picture? <laughs> That's three wrong in a row. <laughs> it's Pacino. It's Serpico. See the beard? Now, I want you to really concentrate. Really. Think, Maddie. Erica. Erica. Let me hit a few keys then. Yes, yes. Ralph! Yes, sir. Hey. What? Oh, I... Hmm? Oh, Ralph, I'm uh, having trouble accessing the... What are you two doing? Get over back on the couch. What did I tell you two detentioners? Ralph, I'm having trouble accessing their files. Uh, Mr. Hockenberry put in some uh, extra security measures, but uh, we're working on clearing them out. And how long will that take, Ralph? Oh, pfft. Weak. Come on, guys. We're acting as if this is a disaster. We own the principal. But I'm not the principal. I will make you the principal. OK. Look, we have fooled these guys for a day. We can fool them for a few more. And uh, nobody's on to us yet, right? Hockenberry, please. Could I just ask him one quick question? I'm not sick! I'm sorry, but Mr. Hockenberry is being... Did you know? ...medicated. But could you just ask him if he's ever seen Dr. Baxter in person? And if he had... Uh, hello? Hello? Hi, my name's Celia Shine. The car wax? I, I, I met you today after your lecture at Patton High. Or did I meet you today after a lecture at Patton High? Sir, do you have a dolphin tattoo to your ankle? Uh, if that sounds strange, could you call me, please? Hey, hey, let's go. Let's get up. You're going to be late for school. Come on. Huh? Uh, I don't want to go. You're the principal. You have to go. I feel sick. Stop faking. Let's go. Get up. Get out of bed. <laughs> well, I know from experience. In Nam, we had a name for it. Inferiority complex. One night. I was walking point hunting 
But Jackie in the bush. Charlie. Huh? Charlie. Oliver. Jackie! Jackie J! Jackie! And could you do something about that Mrs. Watts? She gave me extra homework today. Mrs. Watts? Got it. Anything you want there, Pete? What, are you insane, huh? Are you completely nuts? The whole point was to get him in and out. But we own the principal. Look, if your brother was a cop, wouldn't you speed? Yeah, but I wouldn't steal. Look, Fitz was supposed to go in. What? What, you have the dog in here, too? <laughs> Shine is here for you, Doc. Mm. What are you doing? It's a history teacher. Send her in, please. Come on, let's go. Uh, send her in, please. Anyone? Hello? Shh. Let go of my leg. Stop it. Bad girl. Stop begging. Send her in, please. Anyone? Hello? Oh. Go back to your work, please. This has just been a test. Miss Fassel, please send in the shine. Oh, I'm here, sir. Oh, hi. Please, sit down. Thank you. I was just speaking to John earlier, and I understand he had some trouble in your class today? He was watching TV. Really? Hmm. Well, I'm sure uh, John is sorry. Are you sorry, John? Yeah. Oh. There you go. Oh. OK, so we'll just we'll go back to class, and we'll work on it. Good. Good. Psst, psst. But uh, I, I don't think so. Oh, no? Sir, I, 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 th I thought you said I should only attend class two, two days a week. What? Well, it's, it's to give me time for my independent study on the history of drummers. Uh, you're, you're kidding, no? Uh, Miss Shine, I don't kid. I experiment, I prod, I explore. And uh, John's independent study here is crucial to my experiment. An experiment? Mm -hmm. Oh, what is it? You don't want to leave the teachers in the dark. What? Well, <clears throat> all I can tell you, Miss Shine, is that... Uh, it's about rule breaking. Ah. Thank you for stopping by. My 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 pleasure. <laughs> Doctor Baxter, what school did you go to? School? College? Harvard? Yale? I I. Cornell, wasn't it? That's right, Cornell. Right, Cornell, that's right. Good school. Mm-hmm. I knew it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I knew it. I, she, she's on to us. All right, we, we need to stop this right now. What about Roxanne? You can come in now. I pulled you out of class today, Roxanne, because we've got a problem. Please, sit down. I've been reviewing your records, and I've decided to expel you. What? This is an expulsion notice, and this is a pen. As of this moment, you are no longer welcome at this school. Why? As of this moment, you are no longer welcome at this school. I heard you. Why? As of this moment! Here, take these off. You look better without them. Plus, I added a few lines, what? right? Don't worry about it. Look, you missed your glasses. As of this moment, you are no longer welcome hey. at this... You know, I was just passing by, and I overheard what you said, sir. You can't expel Roxanne. She is a good student. Well, how do you explain all of these discipline problems here? Can you truly determine a student's worth merely by looking at what they do wrong? 
How else? How else do I determine it? By what they do right. You see, Roxanne here has passed the greatest test of all. The test of Caterpillar. Character. Let me ask you a question, sir. Were you ever a sturgeon once? A sturgeon? No. Well, good. Good, because Roxanne and I are students. And every day is a battle. A battle with our parents. A battle with tire pressure. Peer pressure? That, too. You know, I never thought about it like that. You know, you may have saved this young woman from expulsion, but I am sending your parents a note that you weren't in class today. Oh, come on. No, it's all right, Roxanne. As long as I've righted a wrong, I am at peace. You are an intriguing young man, Peter Heath. You stand up for others, even at your own expense. It hints at a love for danger that your shy, though compelling exterior fails to suggest. Bon appetit, sir. Are you sure you wouldn't be happier in the teacher's lounge, sir? I want the full experience, Ralph. capacity of this cafeteria, Ralph? Oh, uh, uh, 472, 472. Mm -hmm. What's the fire code? Hmm? If, in, the, in that area, something. Them better tasting food than that. serve you eat. Yes. <laughs> it worked. She said yes. We're going out tomorrow night. <laughs> oh. You were right. Fitz was perfect. You know, I think I'll have him change some of my grades, you know. Maybe even send a letter to Stanford. But, but I thought you said that was stealing. Oh, Johnny, baby. Look, if we have him, let's use him. <laughs> Watch me now. Yes! <laughs> now, uh, are you sure you want all of Dr. Baxter's books? Yes, huh? all of them. Thank you so much. And you'll run that Nexus search on him for me? Oh, right. I'll have that uh, tomorrow. Great. These are all of Dr. Vernon Baxter's books. We'll split them up. You take two, I'll take two. Look, now that Peter has gone nuts, I'm the only sane one left. And with Miss Shine trying to trip you up, 
You're going to study these until you have the right answers for it. Let's go get to work. Hey. No TV until you study. Oh, come on. I'm going to come in there and take away the remote control. Dr. Baxter, hi, my name's Celia Shine. The car wax, I, I, I met you today after your lecture at Patton High. Or did I meet you today after a lecture at Patton High? Sir, do you have a dolphin tattoo to your ankle? Uh, if that sounds strange, could you? I've run out of socks. I did laundry. Did you finish studying? Enough. Then what are the three essential elements of the triangulation theory of school reform? Here, I wrote you a summary. What are you doing? What? I just made breakfast. I'm not hungry. I spent an hour making breakfast. I'm not hungry. Fine. Fine. You know, you don't appreciate anything I do around here. It's making you very irresponsible. Now, because you are a new teacher, Miss Shine, uh, you should know that the certification requires a written test as well as a classroom observation. Now, failure to pass either one can result in a, in a temporary suspension. But I, I'm not, you shouldn't worry about that. Well, I'm sure your credentials, as you, you've, uh, you, you uh, Miss Shine, Miss Shine. Oh, are you yes, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, Thank you the, very the, much. The, uh, Excuse me, you, oh. Dr. Baxter. Uh, could you remind me what about the three elements of your triangulation theory for school reform? Punishment. Yes. Coercion. And of course, re re ward. One, two, three. Thank you. Hello, this is Dr. Vernon Baxter. Dr. Baxter's busy right now. Would you like to leave a message? No, I... Oh, <laughs> that must be another Dr. Baxter. I... Now you want the other Dr. Baxter. I... What? We have two Dr. Baxters. Which one do you want? Oh, actually, they're both busy. May I ask who's calling? Dr. Baxter! I told you, they're both busy. No, no. I am Dr. Baxter. Oh. I see, and I suppose you're a principal too, are you? Yes. Who am I talking to? Cindy Crawford. Nutcase. Look, move up my flight. I'm heading for Patton, after all. And uh, find out who this Mrs. Crawford is. So that night, my regiment what about finding all the holes in Vietnam and setting them ablaze? Fires in the hold. And to this day, you cannot find a usable hole in all of North or South Vietnam. Wherever it was we were fighting, it's been years. Hey out there, Dr. V here. Just a quick announcement. As of today, we're starting a new program at Patton. It's called... A new program here at Patton. <laughs> there are no longer any rules at this school. Do you hear me? The rules no longer exist. No detentions, no demerits. You don't have to do anything. The whole point, as I see it, is to get you guys to think on your own. And we can't do that if we're doing all the thinking for you. That's about it. Have a happy and productive life. Aloha. Good start. I'm right behind you. The rules blow! Thank you, Ralph. Let's tear up this place, huh? Right on! Oh. I'm the cheese! Oh, yes, you are! I'm stinky cheese! Yes! I smell like you stink! Oh. Oh.
Where's Dr. Baxter? We, we've been thinking. We're gonna let you go, Oliver. Why? We just don't need two Dr. Baxters anymore. Oh. It's getting out of hand. Oh, no, 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 but I'm finally taking a foothold. I, I finally reached these students. I, I think I've had a breakthrough with, uh, the, the square-headed kid, the, the one with the funny nose. He's finally feeling good about his looks. And, uh, the girl, the... The whiny one. What is it? Uh, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Sarah. Oh, she. Well, actually, we had a setback there, but but these kids need me. I don't know what to tell you. I here. No, you can't pay me off. I'm gonna stay no matter what. I've I've been researching. I've been reading no. books. I. There's, there's no. I don't need the money. Right. I'll work for free. The idea of two Doctor Baxters is weird enough. No, it's good. We'll workshop. Oh, we'll work. Fall. Trust me. Fall into my arms. I'll catch you. If X is gravity, Y is impact. It's really not that difficult. Give me protective gloves. Fun, isn't it? You know, you look beautiful. Sorry, what? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Shall I start with you, sir? What would you like? What would I like? Chicken. And you, miss? I, uh... I want to get out of here. One began as a local European war between Austria-Hungary and the Serbs. Uh, the initial cause was the assassination of Archduke Ferdinand. Uh, the assassination was uh, carried out by <coughs> Gavrilo Prisips. He was part of a uh, a terrorist group to the greater Serbia concept he was dedicated. Ma'am, ma hi, I'm the principal of Patton. I just want you to know that wasn't Miss Shine's fault. We're working on a no rule policy. My review and... was not of the school, sir. My review was of Miss Shine. Yeah, but you can't blame her because she... I'm not blaming her. I'm failing her. Miss Shine's credentials have been suspended. If you have a problem with that, you can take it up with the school board. Good day. Yep, but...
59. The plate loading goes as the square, even though it's round like a pie. <laughs> well, like a pie. <laughs> Ralph, no one's taking attendance anymore. What should I do? Don't sweat it. Mm. Okay, well. <laughs> oh, Dr. <Dr>. B! <laughs> Get, the... Get the school board on the line. Now? Oh, Dr. V, Doc, Dr. V, the computer's ready, so you can get into those transcripts whenever you want. What? Hmm? You wanted to get into those student transcripts, so that's done. Get the school board on the line. Okay, here's the thing. I appeal to the school board and... Sorry to scare you. If they're sending a three-person review committee to observe your class, they're gonna watch you teach. I'm quitting teaching. Wow, you got a lot of books here. Are these all yours? Is this, this all you do is read? Pretty much. Wow. What was I saying? Oh, right, the review committee. They're gonna come in, they're gonna watch you. Dr. Baxter, Vernon, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but I've made up my mind. I'm quitting teaching. Okay. Okay. Are you nuts? You're a great teacher. The problem was not you. The problem was the school. The, the problem was me. No. No, before you even came and started making all these changes, the students don't listen to me. I want to be a great teacher. I want to be the kind of teacher that I had in college that, that could take a brick and make it fascinating. I take history and make it a brick. I'm boring. You're not. I am. I bore myself. Would I be here if I thought you were boring? Would I have arranged my whole day just so I could bump into you if I thought you were boring? Would I review every conversation we had to remember exactly what you said if I thought you were boring? Would I be smelling your perfume all day if I... I, I didn't say that. Rewind. You know, you're 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 Look, just just don't quit, okay? We, we can make it work. Believe me, I could help you become a better teacher, and and you could help me become a better principal. Okay? Deal. wasn't here, right? <laughs> okay. It fits. Get up, man. It's time to... Hey, Fitz! Fitz? Fitz, 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 Fitz. <laughs> Dr. Baxter? Sit down. You still reading those Dr. Baxter books? Why? John, I really need your help. I need to turn the school around and make Celia a teacher. Today? If possible. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> Dr. 
Dr. V here. I just want to say, you know, I, I've been doing some thinking this last week, and, um, you know, when I, when I got here, I found a school full of robots doing exactly what they were told. So I told you to question authority. Tear down the rules. Don't follow orders. Well, well, I was wrong. Destroying the old order without replacing it, it's just, it's pointless. So now comes the hard part. No one can tell you what to do anymore, right? So now you've got to do it for yourself. OK. Aloha. <clears throat> OK, next step. In 1929, America's stock market crashed. Throughout the 30s, America plunged into what is now known as the Great Depression. Because of this economic downfall... Do you have to go to the bathroom? No, uh, I, I actually have a question. Um, the, the crash that we had in the 20s was very similar to the crash we had in the 80s, correct? Yes, they, they had a lot in common. But then how come we didn't have a depression in the 80s? Well, that's a, that's a good question, John. That's good. Let's look at the factors in the 20s and uh, jot them down. without horizontal translation. Without the flow, it doesn't go. <laughs> yes? Look, I don't understand. Can you show me? Excuse me? You've been talking for like a week now, and, and all I've understood it is something to do with air pressure. Uh, the net momentum in the fluid. Uh, you, can't, you can't tell me. You have to show me. Let's move on. X plus minus X is zero. And minus X plus X is, of course, zero. No questions till I finish. No! What is X? They're asking questions. I mean, what's happened? They're trying to provoke us. Oh, no, they're not. They want to learn. Don't be so naive. I know, I saw your class. You did? Mm -hmm. The review committee's coming tomorrow. Oh, I'll need you there. Well, then I'll be there. I'll see you after class? Behind the dugout. I've got that Nexus search you asked for. Oh, right. No, 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 no. I don't think so. Is Dr. V in? You're not Dr. Baxter. Stop saying that. Because we already have two Dr. Baxters. Now stop phoning here. Who, who was that in that case? Says he's Dr. Baxter. He's coming here tomorrow to take over the school. Ooh. Oh, man. Thank you. Thanks.
May I escort you? What? You're married. I am not. Oh, this is Baxter's imprint. Oh. Oh, now you remember her. Mrs. Baxter, your wife. Oh, she's not. I mean, I'm... I'm... What, you're gonna tell me she's married to some other Dr. Baxter? Don't lie to me again. I'm not lying to you. I'm not... You look me right in the eye and tell me I'm not lying. Fine. I thank you. You've inspired me. I'm gonna face the review board tomorrow alone. But I don't ever want you to come near me again. You didn't tell her? She's right. I'm lying, either way. There's something else. Lunch was great. Thank you, nice man. Fails a simple IQ test. There we go. There are no longer any demerits. Yeah, I took the liberty of adding a few things to your college file, Peter. Glowing letter from the principal. Recommendation for priority placement. With your record, you deserve it. Thanks, Fitz. You're a good guy. Any news from Roxanne? No, she's still not talking to me. How about you, John? You want anything in your college file? I didn't even know I had a file. Well, it's pretty slim, but uh, you got some good grades here. No, nah, no, nah, don't worry about it. So, where are you gonna go now, Fitz? I don't know. Wherever I can get a ride, huh? <laughs> Hey, would you do me a favor? Would you, uh... Would you tell Celia that I'm sorry? Take those. No, no, no. No, the years. Come on, girl. Come on. So what you have is pressure times area, which is a force. <laughs> Let's crank this puppy. Come on! Ralphie, I can't find Dr. Baxter anywhere, and the reviewers are already here. Reviewers? Variety. So, uh, welcome back, Madam Reviewer. Um, Dr. Baxter must be uh, sick because he, he would want to be here to greet you. Uh, um, I can certainly take you around if you like. Which way to the administrative offices? You know, over there. Um, so, come this way, uh, right this way, and uh, I'll take you right there. Now, um, it is upstairs, so I assume you have a background. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I thought so too. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, okay. I, I, I gotta, I gotta go to someone. Uh, Dr. Vernon Baxter? You'll have to wait. Have a seat. Should we could double. Okay, okay. <laughs> Can I talk? You got two minutes. I messed up. All right, I, I messed up. But honestly, if, if I hadn't done what I'd done, would you even have looked at me twice? Did it ever occur to you that I might like you for you? No. You got one minute. Miss Shine? Yes? 
Uh, Dr. Baxter wanted to wanted me to tell you that he's sorry. Sorry for lying to you. Wait a minute. He told you? He told you about about us? Well, I sort of knew. You sort of knew? I see. So is it all over the school? Did he tell you about his wife, too? No, he, he doesn't have a wife. Really? Well, then who's Mrs. Baxter married to? Well, Dr. Baxter, but you... You just said Dr. Baxter doesn't have a wife. No, oh, yeah, he said Fitz doesn't have a wife. Fitz? Who's Fitz? Oh, dear. Oh, look, dear. Fitz really cares for you. I just... Oh, dear. Look, I just wanted to let you know. Oh, dear. Oh, I... He's gone. He's gone. Where did he go? I don't know. Well, I have to go. Uh, I have to tell Are you ready for us, Miss Shine? Okay, time's up. Roxanne, will you go out with me? Okay. Okay? But you gotta do one thing first. What? Kiss me so hard, my head explodes. Okay. Time's up. you go out with me? What, no cue cards this time? No. I, uh, this is me, the real me. No cue cards. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, you gotta do one thing first. Oh, yeah. What, what is it? Carry my books. <clears throat> you can uh, begin, Miss Shine. Thinking about what you taught us yesterday and how thought-provoking it was for someone like myself, a student more interested in baseball than the social effects of the free market. And I had a question. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we can. I wonder if it... Good afternoon, Pat and I. You wouldn't by any chance be Mrs. Crawford. He wore a bolo tie. I think I'm gonna ask him to go line dancing. You... Yeah, I think so.
faster, faster. We can't wait any longer for Dr. Baxter. We'll have our results to you in a week, Miss Shine. Can you give us a hint? Well, that would be against the rules. But, uh... Oh. Just a minute. They almost pulled it off. Almost. Almost. What are you talking about? The principal is a fake. A drifter hired by this student, John Skeduto, to doctor some transcripts. Oh, Miss Shine was on to them, but they bought her silence with this appeal. Oh, no, that's not true. That, no, that's not true. Well, perhaps not. But if these charges are true, Miss Shine, we'll have to revoke your certification. Sir, can you prove this? I can. One she has to fake Dr. Baxter yourself. He's been hiding from you all day. I know what Dr. Baxter looks like, and this is not Dr. Baxter. Well, well. How did you think you could get away with being the principal? Oh, I'm not the principal. Oh. Of course you're not. That's my point. I'm student counselor. Oh, give us a break. Uh, he is, sir. A2, Calder, A2. I was offered the role of principal, but turned it down for the media supporting role of student counselor. I began with a mask and animal workshop. Always animals, the tenacity of the terrier, the Look. brains. I... He's a fake. <laughs> Do you know what the penalty is for impersonating a school administrator? You can go to jail. So come on, who put you up to this, huh? Who hired you? Who? Who? He doesn't know anything. I'm responsible. No one else. You don't have to do this. I do. I'm not gonna lie anymore. To you, to anyone. Oh. Now we're getting some. It was all Scadudo's fault, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Miss Fassel, send in John, please. I want him to hear this, too. Miss Fassel, send in John, please. John had nothing to do with this. It was me, only me. Look, I came to this school not caring about anything. But you know what? A funny thing happened to me when I got here. I learned something. I learned that if you put your mind to it, you could be anything you want. I also learned that I do care. And that's why I came back. Thank you, Billy Graham. Look! Here's the real Dr. Baxter. Dr. Baxter! Dr. Baxter! It's so good to see you. Tell him, tell him, tell him who the real principal is. This school has changed a lot since I considered working here. I've been viewing some of your classes, and I've found the teaching is creative, the library is full, the food is edible, and the students are governing themselves. Who's the real principal? We're looking at him. I was on another I auditioned for production of hey, all my you. sons. I was not no, cast, but no. Well, who are you? Well, what's going on? Somebody is a fake. And I'm gonna find it! Harry, uh, it's time for your skin peel. Oh, no. No! He's a fake! You're a fake! He's a fake! So what are your plans now? Well, <clears throat> I'd like to work at saving the world. Or play someone who works at saving the world. Not sure. How's about you? Well, the first thing I have to do is apologize to someone. And there she is. Hi, sweetie. I'm so sorry. Ready to go home? Mm -hmm. Oh, Dr. Baxter, you didn't say goodbye. I gotta go. 
fits you don't. Look, I'm not the real thing, okay? I do a pretty good job of pretending, but... You've had such an effect on these kids. <sighs> yeah, I know. Irreparable harm. No, no, no. They're asking questions, and now they want the answers. They need you. You're inspirational. I'd like to believe that, but I, I can't. It's Sinus. Thank you very much. You just recommended me to the University of Washington. Thought I'd use my grandma's check. Give it a try. It's been fun. Bye, John. See you in class. <laughs> Anything's possible, I guess. See you guys. Bye. Anything. <laughs> we still need a principal.